Hi, I'm Vance, and I want to talk to you about something. Now, we've all have seen on TV that The Roseanne Show is coming back on the air. And I admit that I grew up with that show. That was one of the TV shows that I grew up watching as a kid, and I loved it. It was funny. But as I got older, as I matured a lot more, I started to watch the shows a little bit closely, and I started to realize, oh my gosh, this show is just loaded with radical feministic ideologies that Roseanne Barr was pretty much preaching to the American public and anyone else who watched the show, pretty much poisoning people with her radical feministic ideologies. I mean, the episode that dealt with abortion, you know, that one scene when DJ said that if anything happened to Roseanne that he could take care of her, and she snaps on him saying that you can't do that, you know, just this whole nonsense. He's not trying to say that women are helpless. He's just trying to say that if anything does happen to her, you know, he can take care of her. He's trying to be a helpful person. It's just... And even towards the end of the series, in the last seasons of the show, Roseanne actually convinces a male character on the show to say that he's ashamed to be a man. And I'm watching TV and I'm thinking, they're going to bring the show back on the air? Oh my god. God, no, no, you cannot allow this to happen. You cannot allow that radical feministic show to come back on TV again. You can't. Oh, God help us all. I can only imagine, I can only imagine how much more, how many more innocent minds she can poison with her radical feministic ideologies. It's just so stupid. I don't even watch the show anymore. I have three seasons of Roseanne on DVD, and I have the, I have a Roseanne DVD of all the Halloween episodes. I don't even watch them anymore because I'm sick and tired of seeing all the radical feministic ideologies being preached on the show. They make women out to be superior to men, and that's what feminism is supposed to be about. It's, a, it's supposed to be about, it's about equality toward the sexes, that men and women are equal. We're all equal under the Lord. We're all created equal. And these radical feminists like Roseanne Barr, Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, they don't preach about equality toward the sexes. They preach about women being superior to men. They're pretty much doing what male chauvinists have done over the millennials. They just, they don't get it. They're doing the exact same thing that male chauvinists have done over the years. And they don't want to acknowledge it. Or they know it, but they, like I said, they don't want to acknowledge it. Either they don't know that they're doing it, or they're so arrogant that they just, they don't care. They love that they get to be superior. I can't believe that the Roseanne Barr show is coming back. I can't believe it. And you, you want to know something? I heard once that Roseanne Barr was blind. Now, I don't know if she got any surgery. All right, you know what? Scratch that, scratch that. I was going to say that she was a liar because if she was blind, why would she, come, why would she be coming back on television to do a show when she came and see squat? But, of course, there are, there are treatments for it, so never mind, never mind. I screwed up. I acknowledge that. And that's something that radical feminists won't do. They won't acknowledge when they're wrong. This whole idea that women are always right. That is so stupid. Let me ask you a question. If a woman was to say that George Washington was our third U.S. president and Thomas Jefferson was our first U.S. president, would that make her right? I don't think so. Because we all know that George Washington was our first president and Thomas Jefferson was our third U.S. president. But I guess if a woman says that, no, it was Thomas Jefferson who was the first... You know, She's automatically right, because she's a woman, and women are always right. I don't know what to expect with the Roseanne show coming back, but, you know, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. And if you don't agree with Roseanne's radical feministic ideologies, then you should, it would be wise for you to not watch the show just as well. But it's your decision. You do what you want.
but I just had to get this out. I'm Vance Dykes, and I approve this message. Have a good night.